Hey, this is Eric from ControlAltAchieve.com, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how to use Google Keep to add comments to a student's document when you are grading their work. So most of us are familiar with the idea that if you've got a Google document uh, from a student and you're grading it, you can certainly come in there and highlight anything in the document that you'd like to leave feedback on and that pops up a little comment button over here to the side you can just give a click on that comment button and you can add your own comment this is a great way to provide feedback to students however the only drawback is you have to type in your comment each time so you try to decide is there another way I could make this a little bit easier perhaps you could have a Google document that has all of your comments already pre-typed and you could jump back and forth between the document you're grading and the document that has your comments and you could copy and paste them that would certainly work however there is another option a newer option that might make this even a little bit easier and that is using Google Keep now Google Keep has been around for quite a while the new thing is there's an integration between Google Keep and Google Docs that would make it a lot easier to take comment lists that you've created in Google Keep and easily add them to Google Docs we'll show you how that works so first thing you want to do is head over to Google Keep that's at keep.google.com and when you get there um, you'll have if you do have any notes that you've created you'll see all of those notes there and Google Keep allows you to create all sorts of notes whether it's uh, uh, images or uh, shopping lists or just uh, notes that you've been keeping well what you can do is you can go to the top of Google Keep and in the top you'll see a section that says take a note well you can type in a regular note there or to the right of there you can click where it says new list and this will allow you to type in a list of items so that's what I'm gonna do for my comment list the idea would be I would come up here click on new list and then I could uh, add all of my comments that I frequently use now if you've already got these typed up somewhere else you can simply copy and paste them in here you do not have to retype all of those comments which is what I've done here I'm just gonna copy in my title this will be grammar and I've already got these typed up in another document so I'm gonna copy those and simply paste those in and what's nice is keep realizes that anytime there's a line break in your comments that that is a new um, list item and so just pasting them all in at one time boom 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 it splits them all up for you real nice so go ahead and add all of the comments that you want in this case these are just grammar comments you could do it by different uh, skills that you are assessing so you could have multiple comment lists that's fine what you're probably going to want to do though before you finish up with your comments here is way down at the bottom you'll notice there's this little three dot button and if you click on that one of the things that will pop up is the ability to add a label and this is a good idea because you may end up with loads and loads of notes in Google Keep and when later on we go to use these in Google Docs we want to be able to very quickly narrow it down to just the comments that we're looking for using a label could really help with that so if you go to the three dots and click add label you can now type in a label name or use one you've already used I already have one called comments so I'm going to use that label hit done and there we go my grammar list has now been added and it is labeled with comments now you see I've already done organization I've done style mechanics and usage so I have several other ones that I've already done and I've labeled all of those with comments on there now of course you can always go back and click on these again and add more edit what's there delete stuff very easy to make changes to those at any point and you'll also notice that as I was adding these in I was also able to add links and those are just regular hyperlinks uh, just keep them inside of the comment as normal the nice thing is when you give these to the students they'll be able to read your comment and they'll also be able to click on the link to get more information all right well let's head back over to our students document and talk about how we could now use all of those comments from keep in this Google document so here's the new thing when you're in a Google document if you head up to the tools menu in the top menu bar give that a click in that drop down menu you will see keep notepad is now an option so Google keep is now integrated right into Google Docs go ahead and give a click on keep notepad and what it's going to do is it's now going to open up all of your Google keep notes over here on the right now if I scroll down you'll see it's notes besides just uh, the uh, uh, comments I've got a shopping list and adjust testing and some other things like that in there as well so that's why having those labels can be really helpful if you notice at the top of this panel there is a little search button 
If you come here and give a click on the search button, you can type in what you want to limit this down to. So I'm just going to type in comments. And when I do that, now it's only bringing up things that match that. So it's searching for that comments label. So if you have hundreds of notes, no problem at all. Just type in the label you're looking for and boom, it'll reduce it just to that. At this point now, we're ready to use these comments. So go ahead and start grading your student's document. And let's say you come across something where you need to leave a comment. You could highlight the text, click on the comment button as usual. Now here, where we would normally type in our comment, we can simply copy and paste right from the handy dandy Google Keep panel here on the side. Now, if you need to get a comment and it isn't showing up, just remember which section it was in. Give a click on that section and it'll expand it out so you can grab the entire list of comments in that section. So let's just come in here and we'll say we're going to grab this first one. All we do is simply highlight the text with my mouse and just do um, you know control C to copy or right click copy whatever works best for you head back over here to your comment and control V for paste or right click paste whatever works best for you and then click comment to finish it and as simple as that it's done you now have that comment in there for your student they can read the comment they can click the link and take advantage of that keep repeating that on down however you need and uh, this is again an easy way to have nice organized comment lists in google keep that you can pull up inside of docs and very easily copy paste into your document as you leave feedback for your students so try that out in addition to that uh, make sure that you visit uh, my website at controlaltachieve.com where you'll find the latest and greatest blog posts there as well as loads of resources organized by uh, topic as well as webinars. I try to do one or two video trainings a month. Those are available there for you for free. And there is a newsletter you can sign up for to stay in the loop on all the latest things that get posted to the site. Thanks so much. Take care. Thank you.